Welcome to MCFD Live number 74, man. Uh, just a great show. I'm calling it Caption Queen of Tag Town. Inspiration from desperation. That's those two things that motivate us, inspiration and desperation. And when we have both, man, it's called Food Goes to Dynamite. My, I got a special guest, Elizabeth Strews of Eclair Salon, Carbondale, Illinois. Let me qualify her before I bring her. She's just, you know, this is kind of like a first because Elizabeth, first of all, 32 years old, and she is a salon owner. I think we've only had one other salon owner uh, on the show before. And But she's also a ninja, level 4 AA stylist, so she's like in it to win it, baby. She's also a Redken artist, part of Rack, and that's what I think makes her the triple uh, trifecta plugged into Summit uh, you know, since 2014. So, you know, she gets it. And here's why one of the reasons why I wanted to have her on the show. I mean... You talk about she opens up the salon in 2014. That's like nine, ten grand a year. That's like wiener water soup on a W two baby because she had to put the money back in to start it up, start it up. A lot of people don't understand that. Then in her second year, sixteen better look. Third year, she's getting off to a slow start. This year, big boom, boom from twenty five grand to ninety thousand, and she is like crushing it on steroids. Right, Summer? I mean, she's really getting it together, and that is she's got a $115 ticket. I think that makes her profoundly important because her haircut price is 40 bucks. I mean, you know, do the arithmetic, will ya? That's a, uh, a, an average ticket that's darn near three times as high as her haircut, which means she's a Bali Lama. But this is why, she's, why I think it's like crushing it on steroids. She's working two to three days a week, and she's making $90,000. So, Sarah, you getting this, right? Um, and, Natalie, you're seeing this, yes, two to three days behind the chair. Uh, rebooking 85%, RTS 22%, which means that she's really into teaching her, her guests how to do hair. So that's her deal. I'm go There's going to really be two parts to the conversation tonight, my friends. The second part is going to be her social media. And she's, you know, she's, she's got it. She's got to just, I wanted her on the program because she's got one particular social media best practice that's new, it's innovative, and it's like she's making rain, as in 200 referrals a year. A lot of these she's spinning off to her people. Uh, so she's, you know, she's the eclair, you know, a referral rainmaker making, you know, big boom, boom, big time. So, um, what I want to do then is I want to call her up on the phone because I want her to tell her story. She's got an extraordinary story. Uh, you know, she from uh, high school, a little bit of military, single parent, came back, did a little bit of, uh, uh, went to school, uh, hair school, uh, did a little bit of independent stylist, started with Summit, and the rest is history. So without any further ado, you want me to call her up and so that we can have the conversation? Mm -hmm. There she is. Give it up for Miss Elizabeth. Uh, give it up one more time. Oh, well, that's not that's not nice to do. There we go. <laughs> good good evening, Elizabeth. Hello. Did you hear me bragging on you? I did. All right. Well, listen. I want to get right to work. Um. First question we, 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 we want to ask is, you know, you're 32 years old. Uh, how, how did you, like, get, what inspired you to go to, uh, to uh, hair school? Uh, so I was in the military, and I knew that if I didn't get back in school, that I could pro possibly become a problem child. And so when I was talking to the lady at the junior college, she said, you know, you've got nine months of GI Bill, beauty school is nine months. And I said, wait, 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 wait. I don't wear makeup. I, I don't dress like a hairdresser and forgive me, but I might have even said that they were disses at the time. And she told me to give it three weeks. And I did. And I fell in love with a tribe of people um, and the capacity to make people beautiful. So that was your calling. And I see you have your love, your lovely daughter. She wants a little bit of camera time. There's Emma Claire. Give it up for Emma Claire. Will you guys? <laughs> All right, so now you're you know you're in the salon and uh, you're you're you know you're starting to uh, make it work, and um, so what 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 happened 
Uh, you go to hair school, and the first few years, tell us about the first few years, because those were not good years for you. Oof, those, those years were real rough. So I graduated in 05, um, and we, we had a lot of walk-ins. Like, the world was a little different then. And then in 2008, two big things happened, um, both personally and worldwide. You know, stock market crash, the world changed. The, how we did hair had to change. Um, and our pocketbooks felt it pretty quickly. The other thing that happened in 2008 was my little girl was born, which gives you a little bit of a different perspective on life and, and where finances need to be anyway. Right, um, right. So I think you call it wiener water soup, and that's about what I was living on for nine years. So, yeah, that, so things were, and you were an independent stylist, I think, your first few out, were you not? Yep. Uh, yep, I was a booth runner for the first uh, eight or nine years and behind so, the chair. So it sounds like you went from being independent to being a salon owner, and then somewhere in this, you got hooked up to Summit. Yes, I knew opening the salon that I wanted to go to Summit. So I opened the salon, and about three weeks later, I attended the Summit. Um, and I, I just think that the, the teamwork and the A plus B equals C spoke to my soul in ways that being behind the chair by myself, I never got. Um, you know, my team jumped in to help me finish a blowout. They, they help all these things that Summit prescribes, and the guests love it. And you went from, I think when, we, when I was chatting with you earlier, when before you do the salon thing, you're working five days a week, 12 hours a day, 60 hours a week in it, and you're just, just barely hanging on. And so you're saying, no, no, I wanna, I'm going to do a salon. You start going to the Summit. Uh, and the first uh, couple years or so were dicey years for you. Uh, the first couple of years were almost as rough, but um, the, the joy was there. I just needed a better paycheck to go with it. Um, and at one point, I was not able to, love you, baby, I wasn't able to pay myself regularly. And my wife looked at me and said, if you don't start paying us, I'm going to go. And I want, I want to really pause there for a second because that was a very definable moment for you. That when you had that crucial conversation uh, yeah. with your mate, that kind of woke you up. And in a nutshell, what was what was the the, the, the thinking, the intention in your head? Um, there were a couple of things. Like she said it laughingly and jokingly, but I I knew that that wasn't something I was willing to let happen. The other thing that happened was I knew that Summit worked. And I knew that was something I could make money. And I knew I could make other people money, too. And so when she said that, I kind of had the, like, all right, let's do this instead of let's just pretend like I own a salon. Does right. that make sense? Oh, yeah. You got, you got really focused. So, I mean, something happened to you this year. I mean, you went from the mid-teens to 20-somethings. You're, you're going to triple or quadruple. You're trending to triple or tri a quadruple your income. So correct me if I'm wrong, but this is probably – a year where it's historical for you. You're making more money than you've ever made in your life. Uh, yeah, it, it is mind-blowing in a lot of ways. Right, right. Um, and, and it's mind-blowing because I don't leave work exhausted either. Yeah, I, I know. I mean, the, the irony here is that you're working, what did you tell me, two to three days a week behind the chair, helping your people grow. Yep. And I know from chatting with you earlier, you know, you, you like a lot of us, grew up impoverished. So, you know, we, we've had too much month at the end of our money forever. So all of a sudden now you're on the other side making more money than you've ever made. What's that like? How has that changed your life? It is so refreshing. Um, it's, it's a different world. You know, I can take a day off like today and go spend it with my family and I'm not freaking out and living in this fear zone that happens. You know, when you live with this poor mentality, you tell this crazy story about how it's okay to be there. And, you know, you just, you allow fear to take over. And now that I'm, you know, looking at doing 90,000 this year, and my goal is six figures next year, um, I'm looking at being debt free soon. I'm looking at being able to grow at a team and give them better lives too. So there's just, there's so many things that happen with that. Right, right. So now that you're there, you're, you're in a place where a lot of people... Uh, aren't they're not there yet? They're 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 really where you were. So in a nutshell, what do you what do you say to them that might give them some hope? Um, 
You know, going back to the fear story, it's a story that you tell in your head. So you can either tell a story of fear or you can tell a story of courage. Um, I chose courage. I, I chose the thing that was actually less scary to me than staying in poverty. And the idea of taking my daughter back to food stamps and HUD housing wasn't an option. Um, and losing my other half wasn't an option. So I told myself courage instead. Tell yourself courage. It's the story in your head. It, it, that's, that's your big why. So, okay, so now I want to I want to pivot a little bit and tell the second part of this, and that is you're behind the chair, and I started asking you questions that you're crushing it on social media, and like, what was your on-ramp? In a nutshell, like, what changed in the last year or so? What did you plug into that really uh, took you to the place that you're at now behind the chair? Um, I think I had three crucial things that really changed for me. Uh, you starting the Facebook Lives really helped. You had a windows of time, and I was able to start plugging that in. That was massive. Um, I sat down and did the math one night, and I was like, okay, so if I schedule people correctly this way, I could double my pay, and that was without even add-ons or pre-booking or doing any of the other things that we're supposed to be doing. Um, so that was massive, was, is getting my head wrapped around that. I also realized that... I could post on social media what I had open and my guests were coming back going, I was waiting last week for you to say you had a cancellation and you didn't. People rely on it. They love it. Um, so I started posting like some of your other ninjas had started doing before me. And then I also realized that if I was going to mm -hmm. use windows of time, I needed to be faster. I needed to be able to know what I was doing and charge appropriately. Thank you, Colornomics, for taking care of that. That, that was definitely a huge boost for me. Yeah, so I, I'm hearing a few things. I'm hearing, first of all, you started hanging out on, you know, the Facebook Lives. You, I think when I first talked to you, you said, Michael, you know, you're on episode whatever, 70-something. I've been hanging out since episode one back in those early days when we were talking about booking smarter, and, and, and you stepped it up, and, and, and then you started uh, really, you know, engaging in those best practices, and that took you to where you're at now. Yeah, and it took me fast. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just been explosive. Now, in the few minutes that we have left, Elizabeth, I really want you to zero in on you're engaging in a best practice that is really, really unique. And, and while it's, a, you know, at face value, it's a little bit advanced, I think a lot of our listeners like you that have been hanging out with us for a while are ready for this. So in a nutshell, walk Walk our audience tonight through how that whole picture taking, tagging, when it shows up, what you do, and then um, I'll, when we're done, I'll show some of the uh, some of your posts, and then I'll be posting them tomorrow on my page as well. Awesome. So one of the things that came up in in the very early days of the Facebook Lives was create your own personal or create your own professional page. So I created a professional page. I linked it to my Instagram so I can do everything at once. It's amazing. One of the things that I learned to do is that on my professional page, I'm able to post a picture. I'm able to write a story about it. People love stories. That's their experience in your chair. And then after I post it on my professional page, I log out of that. I go into my personal page, find myself in the search bar, and I'm able to tag that guest in that picture. So now their feed pops up with my professional page for tagging them. I love it. So so now when you tag them on your post, it shows up on their page. Which and that yeah. isn't net, that you know, I mean some people are doing that, but you you're a caption queen. You write the kind of caption where you're anticipating that that picture being on your client's page. And whatever it is you're writing, it, 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 it inspires and uh, compels their friends to, to make comments on it. So in a nutshell, well, and I'm going to be showing some of this when we get off, um, but in a nutshell, what would a caption say that would uh, inspire a, a client's friend to make comments on it? Um, so you've got one that you're going to show later. And one of the other ones that I like is showing gratitude. For the guest and talking something that you talked about that day because their friends know them their friends know about them 
So if you're relating to that, they realize that you're also just another human that loves to make people beautiful. And they're going to ask questions that actually relate to hair because they see you as personable. Right. And, and so um, you, I've actually saw, you know, went on some of those pages and you're actually talking to the guest's friend on the guest page. You guys are making comments to each other. And somewhere in that conversation, you begin inviting them into your salon. Absolutely. So, you know, guests will post pictures and tag us in them or the ones that I've tagged them in. I make sure I always write a thank you in the comments to the guests that I don't know, so future guests, referrals, and then also to the guests that I saw. So I, I'm making, I'm touching base with people in a lot of ways. Right, right. And so out of all of this, you're doing like, a, you're trending like a couple of hundred referrals this year. In a lot of these, you're spinning off to your people. You've become Eclair's referral rainmaker. I, I mean, that's what I'm trying for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I love it. And I, we love you. And you just did a, a, a wonderful job this evening. I want to let you go and just give uh, the audience some peeks of your your specific post so that they really can go and begin practicing that. So again, thank you very much, Miss, Miss Elizabeth. And uh, let's give it up for one more time. Okay. I'll, be, I'll be talking to you later. Stay well, my friend. Give it up for her one more time. This was huge, game. This was... All right, what I'm gonna do now, because this was so crucial, is I want to show you, I want to show you some of her posts. Okay, so this is an example of it. Here is the picture, her before and after picture that she took, right? And read the caption; it's amazing. So she says, and this was July 18th. Uh, you might ask, what's the difference between the two? Maybe an extra layer. And she's referring to her haircut and and her color. And she's saying. No, the difference is four days of intense, in-depth training. Cut in no why, and she and she uh, drops her her her, uh, her client's name. Let me play because she trusted me. That's a huge deal to me. Now here's what else she says. Also, the before took a flat iron and some extra time to style. The after took 20 minutes and a round brush. So she's. She's talking about in her caption what she taught her guest, right? And then she says, want to see the difference uh, that your hair can make. Now, I'm going to show you some of the comments that she got. So she gets one from Dana, which is a friend of the client. Now, again, all of this is happening on her client's page. The whole key here is she is tagged her client so people on her client's page can see her post exactly as it is. And she says, Dana says, <clears throat> looks like it was fun. Uh, and she's referring to her client. Uh, my hair is still like straw after all the cruising. My hairdresser told me my hair and scalp smelled like metal. And then, and, and, and she's saying, Elizabeth is saying, Dang, Dana, we have an amazing treatment that would clean your hair. I mean, she's talking to... The, the, the friend of the client on the client's page, this is amazing. And as a result of conversations like that, those friends are coming in to see her. My fr that, that is a very different best practice. And I think uh, we owe it to, to one more uh, round of applause because that is truly innovative. So, uh, I, you know, I, I mean, I'm running out of time. So her, her, her tips, again, in, in case you missed it, she tripled her pay. She's double booking, uh, making an efficient use of time. She's filling up her windows of time with social media. She's charging what she's worth. She went to uh, Redkin's Colornomics. I mean, she's just got obsessive compulsive Redkin Ed disorder, uh, and and so she and, and it, it, her class helped her with all of that. So there you have it. Now, um, before we say goodbye, I want to tease you about uh, a guest that we're going to have on next week. And that is Michelle Martinez. I'm actually going to be doing um, at 5 o'clock Central on Saturday. We're going to go into the salon, watch her take some pictures, watch her uh, watermark her pictures, watch her upload her pictures on Instagram. So if you need some help with that, that's a little precursor to next Thursday. We'll do that on at Saturday at, at 5 o'clock. 
Um, there's a lot of you that are joining us for first time. And, and if you are joining us for first time, um, hang out with us. Uh, like the uh, Facebook.com slash Michael Cole OTT. That's the page that you're on tonight. That's the page that we do um, uh, uh, Facebook Lives on. I'm on Instagram as well, Michael Cole BGTD, as in who goes to dynamite. Oh, my God, Linda Mackey, she's in the house. It's good to see you, Linda. Um, and um, and get, get on. Make sure you start living on summitsalon.com. Because there's a whole bunch of real cool stuff that you can get at no charge, right? The the uh, we've got a tracking app now that's hooked up to the cloud that that uh, is uh, uh, paired up to the uh, jump uh, the uh, planner, as well as uh, the level charts. We also have uh, the planner now is being used for social media planning as well as upselling. We're, and we've been doing some videos on how new ways of setting goals that tie into your personal financial. Linda Mackey, you'll love this. It's, a, it's almost like step up on steroids. And so the other thing that I want to just uh, you know, do a little uh, raw pitch on tonight is you can now go to summitsalon.com slash calculator. And we have calculators now that you key in one or two of your numbers. And uh, for, for an annual goal, it breaks it down by the month, by the uh, week, by the day, so that you can start... Um, planning your day to hit your day goal to jump your income 10 to 20 grand. I mean, my friends, that's, you know. So that's uh, summitsalon.com slash calculator. And then we just did a video a week ago. I'll do a follow-up on it next week called summitsalon.com slash magic day. Finding your magic number for your magic day. So, um, you know, I, I want to end it as I always end it. Uh, Steve Good, thank you very much. Uh, get the calculator, uh, and um, we want to say thank you to all of our sponsors. Summit Salon uh, Business Center, thank you for uh, continuing to support the work. And then, of course, it's our friends at L'Oreal PPD. You know, starting with, you know, we got Redkin in here, we got Purology, we got Matrix, we have L'Oreal Professional, Mazzani, Shu, uh, uh, Kerastas, uh, Carita, and, of course, Baxter. So, Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you do, and I, I look forward to seeing you uh, uh, next week.